Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the promised day has finally arrived. September 27th, 2019. It is not because it's September 28th, 2019. We're actually recording this a day after the promised day. So what I want you, all of y'all to do for however long this video is, longer than a standard unboxing should be for a game that's not in a special edition packaging, is use your imagination and rewind the clock to September 27, 2019. That's all I'm asking y'all to do. Just we, we use our imagination to make a lot of things feel as if they are real. Like, for example, when they say, get frozen yogurt instead of ice cream, it still tastes the same even though you know it doesn't. You know, just, just imagine it. Imagine it is September 27, just like we imagine Xbox has games. Anyways. Y'all 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 know what it is, man. I would whip out the Batman knife for this, but I, I really don't think you need to know like what's in this. All I know is that it is not the standard blue packaging that comes with Amazon. This is uh Amazon Goes Gold for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. That's actually uh very cool. So we're just gonna tear this at the top. If it allows me, and I will probably have to end up using the Batman knife. You know what? You know what? Never say that I don't whip it out because I just whipped it out right now. That really sounded wrong out of context, but it's staying in the video. So here we go, y'all. What we have here is Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition for Nintendo Switch. I don't know about y'all, but I... <laughs> I'm getting a bit emotional right now. No, not really. It's just, it's so weird, man, because for any of y'all who don't know this, Dragon Quest XI at least the Nintendo Switch version, was actually the very first game that was ever announced for the platform. This is going back before we even knew what the Switch was. Square Enix came out and said that, hey, we're putting Dragon Quest XI on the Nintendo NX. So this is going back, what, 2015? And here we are, four years later, we have Dragon Quest on Switch. And not only that, but we have the definitive version of it because not only is this everything that was included in the base release of dragon quest 11 that came out two years ago in japan came out last year in the states but you also have additional content you're able to play the game in 2d in addition to a lot more uh story related scenarios that, and things dealing with characters i actually haven't um <laughs> looked in too much to the extra bonus content outside of what I said because I wanted to be surprised at some of the stuff that I play in the game. And it's so funny that I say I want to be surprised at the extra stuff that's added in the game because, as y'all know, let's see if I can actually uh, make an attempt. Oh my god, it actually didn't fall. <laughs> that's the power of the Keyblade! Shout out to those who know where that game reference came from. And by game reference, I'm not talking about the franchise, I'm talking about the game. <laughs> Uh, I have Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of Elusive Age, the edition of Light on the uh, PlayStation 4. I bought this, I believe, I want to say it was earlier this year, because it was on sale at Best Buy for half off, so it was $30. And of course, they announced the release date for the Switch version, not even, what, a month or so later? So I was just like, oh, great, this, this amazing JRPG I just started it's coming out on a platform where I know I'm going to have a lot more time to play it. Fuck it, I'm just going to put this game back on the shelf, and that's what I did. I got maybe 15 hours into the PS4 version, and I was just like, you know what? The Switch version is coming out. It's got to have all the extra content and more, and I'm just like, all right, you know what? Screw it, because I don't know if you all know this. When it comes to the Nintendo Switch, I am a freaking fiend. My library is insane, and I don't even care if that game is available on the PS4 or on the PC. If a Switch version is coming and I know that the port is going to be on par for the most part, 
I'm gonna get it on the Switch. I, like, I'm sorry. I know everyone's like, well, aren't you gonna need 1080p, 60 frames per second, or 4K, and all that stuff? Yes, that, that all that stuff is great for things like The Last of Us and God of War and and uh, Uncharted and all those games. I, I'm kind of noticing a trend, all the exclusives. Uh, but for things like Dragon Quest, which is a Japanese RPG, you know, Japanese games really don't push the boundaries of performance for the most part. Uh, I don't really need it to run at 4K and, and 60 frames and all that. Like, from what I've seen in the Switch version, it looks pretty damn good for what it is. And, of course, you get nothing here except a really nice um, cover. Oh, can't even reverse this. I know the PS4 version, you could reverse it. So, let me just open this up. And, uh, yeah, you did have the reversible cover, cover art on this one, which is actually the cover they used for the Nintendo Switch version. Which is pretty dope, because I know a lot of people didn't like um, the standard cover, and I know I'm going to get crucified for, like, why do you have this cover? This is the generic Western version. I'm like, hey, whatever, man. This at least is going to look nice on the shelf, and when I take photos, because they're two different ones, you know? So, yeah, Dragon Quest XI S on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, boy, it's going to be finally just so great that I can sit down and play this game, and I know I'm going to get crucified for some people saying, you waited an extra like four or five months to play this game on the switch yes i did because it's a long ass japanese rpg and with these long ass japanese rpgs and my backlog best believe i'm only going through them once even some of my favorite games like persona 5 i only went through that thing once it just is what it is at this stage of my life so i'm gonna be very happy to dive back into dragon quest i even held off playing the definitive edition demo like, I played it for like an hour or so just to see how the Switch version ran, and I was just like, I'm good. And that demo was 10 hours long. So, just like, the amount of... Like, I was just sitting here, like, just patiently waiting, like, okay, okay, all right, tell me. It's all right, two more weeks, one more week, one more day, and it's here. It's finally here. So, I'm going to pop this bad boy in my Switch, play it all throughout the night, and uh, I guess report back with up dated impressions even though i told y'all what i think about the game months ago but now i'm gonna be like hey this is what i think about the game now that's portable ah you know that that stuff anyways for me for now my name is ngs signing out let me know down below in the comment section did you guys pick up dragon quest 11 s on the switch and also if you did pick it up are you a newcomer to the franchise did you hear all the cool stuff about it decided to play it did you download the demo or did you not do any of that stuff you're just like you know what screw it I'm going to take a leap of faith. What's up, danger? And I'm just try it out. Or are you just a hardcore fan? You're just like, man, you already know it's going to be there day one. Let me know down below. My name is Neo signing out. And like always, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.